Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share over 10 plus advanced tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. These are a batch of options that reside within the advanced features under settings, and they're basically things you need to know to enhance the ownership of your Note 8 by exploring its full capabilities. So let's dive in and start discovering. Before we do dive in, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online right now. All right, let's go. All right, so let's go into the settings really quick and let's see what I'm talking about. So here's the uh, advanced features. And if you tap on advanced features, you get a whole slew of options that are absolutely fantastic to use. Now, the only thing I'm not going to cover in this list is the S Pen features because I already made a separate video covering the entirety of the S Pen and all the related features. So if you do want to learn about all the advanced S Pen features, see the link in the description box below for the full coverage video. And of course, I'm going to be talking about the games feature here also in detail, but I'll leave that for the last because not everybody plays games. So first, I'm going to concentrate on all the everyday features uh, that most people use. And then at the end, I'm going to talk about the games advanced feature functions that have a lot of functionality that will be useful for actual mobile gamers. All right, so the first feature I want to talk about is all the way at the bottom. It's called the Video Enhancer Mode. So let's tap on it really quick and you go inside. And basically when you enable this option, uh, gets enabled and disabled from here, it enhances the image quality of your videos to enjoy brighter and more vivid colors as it says here. And here's the apps that this effect actually applies to. Now as you download more and more video apps and if those apps are supported they will populate down here so not every app is going to work with the video enhancer function uh, for picture clarity okay and the next thing i want to talk about really quick is called the um, swipe to call or send messages so basically this is a very nice feature if you tap on it it says uh, swipe a contact or number right to make a call and left to send a message so if I go into my uh, phone here or even into, into my messages, I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I go over here, if I go over to a contact, what I can do is here's my um, number and I have two options. I can swipe to the left to send a message or I can swipe to the right to make a call. And if I do the swipe, it'll just go right into the message application. I can start typing immediately. Uh, same thing with the phone. If I swipe it over here, it's going to start to call that number right on the spot. So make sure that uh, that uh, option is in fact enabled. Let's go back in there, uh, right over here. Okay, swipe to call or send messages. And of course, here's one of my favorite features. It's called the easy mute option. You can tap this, it'll go into the details. And basically, let's say somebody's calling you or you have an alarm coming up, you have a couple options to actually mute the phone on the spot. You can do two things. So let's say somebody's calling you, either you can just go like that and that's gonna mute the call, or you can just grab the phone, flip it over and put it on the table, uh, screen facing the table, and it's going to mute the actual call as well. This is a very handy feature uh, that makes it easy to mute a call. Now the next really handy feature is called a direct share option. When you enable this option, there's a little sharing panel that gets activated on the share screen when you're sharing a photo, music or any file uh, on your smartphone. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So it's enabled right now. Uh, let me just go to the gallery over here and there's a picture that I want to share with somebody. When you tap on the share icon here, uh, you'll see that on the top you see a quick panel that has a list of people that you contact most frequently on the top. All right, So that is the direct share panel that just makes it very easy to share something directly with people you contact frequently. Now if I do go back into the settings over here, just to show you what I'm, uh, just to make it very crystal clear, so disable. Go back to the gallery and if I tap on the share icon, that direct share panel is gone. So just don't be confused uh, with that thing. Uh, that is for your frequently contacted contacts. This is certainly a feature I use all the time to share photos uh, with people. And uh, let's uh, keep uh, digging into the advanced features menu and find out even more cool stuff. All right, so let's uh, continue on. So here up here is called what is called a direct call. So let's go in there and see what this does. So basically if you enable this and if somebody gives you a call, all you have to do is pick up the phone and bring it to your ear and it's gonna actually take that call. It's gonna answer that call, all right? You will not have to press a button to actually accept that call. 
All right, so here's my three favorite uh, options in the advanced features. It's the one-handed mode, the finger sensor gesture, and the quick launch camera. So let's tap on this guy. And basically this guy is designed for people that have small hands or basically people that just want to use their phone with one hand. As you know, the Galaxy Note 8 is a humongous phone. And it's hard to use it with just one hand when the phone is in this full screen position. So what you could do is if you enable this option, it's going to actually minimize the screen to either the left side or the right side, depending on which hand you're holding the phone with. And then you can use the entire thing with just your thumb. So to actually activate the one handed mode, you have two options. You can use a gesture, you can use the button. With the button, if you tap the home button three times, it activates the one handed mode. And let me use that gesture to show you what I'm talking about. So let's tap this thing three times the home button three times, one, two, three, and boom, the screen gets minimized and I can use the entire phone with just one hand. I can exit this, I can pull down the location center, right, I can go to the um, uh, app drawer, you know, launch an application, I can do whatever I want and everything's gonna happen in this tiny little screen. Now this thing can be uh, right justified, left justified, all right, I can even pull up the edge screen from here. So the phone is fully functional on a smaller window, but it's fully accessible with my thumb. And of course, this window here is resizable, so you can actually increase or decrease the size if you wanted to. When you're done using the one-handed mode, all you do is tap outside somewhere here, and it goes back into the full screen mode. This is a very handy feature. As far as I remember, Samsung was the first one to come up with this option, something I use all the time. Well, let's... All right, next up, we have the finger sensor gesture. So if you enable this, basically you can use your fingerprint as a way to pull down the notifications panel. So normally what you can do is you can pull down the uh, notifications panel just like that. And if you pull it down again, it comes all the way down. Uh, but with this uh, gesture here, it's a really nice option. Uh, you put your finger on the fingerprint sensor, right? And you can pull down the notifications panel or pull it up just like that. Take a look at that. Pull up, pull down, pull up, pull down. And as you can see, it can happen in any orientation. I can have it like that. It still works. Pull up, pull down, pull up. Absolutely fantastic. Let's move on to the next tip. And of course, the quick launch camera, very useful feature. When you double tap the power button from any screen, it brings up the camera. The phone could be locked, it could be in your pocket, it could be in another app watching a video, but then you quickly see a shot. You wanna take a quick picture. All you do is double tap this guy, boom. The camera comes right up and you take a picture and you move on with your life, all right? So that's the um, quick launch camera gesture. And really quick over here, we have something called a smart alert. And again, if you go in here, basically what happens is, let's say your phone is sitting on the table flat down and you had a couple, you walked away, you came back, somebody sent you a message, somebody called you, you didn't hear it. All you do is you pick up the phone and it's gonna vibrate. That vibration is gonna mean that you actually do have messages or phone calls or some other notification waiting for you. Okay, so demonstration is right over here. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is palm swipe to capture. So basically this guy over here, uh, if you enable it, all you wanna do is you wanna swipe the uh, your hand across the edge of the device and it's gonna take a screenshot. Now this doesn't mean you can just go like that, okay? Your palm, uh, your hand has to actually touch the screen as you swipe. And as you can see, let me just do that one more time. There we go. So as you can see, it just took a screenshot. So that's just one way to take a screenshot of your device is called palm swipe to capture. All right, so if you look on the top here, right above the palm swipe to capture, you'll see the smart capture option. When you enable this option, it actually is connected to the palm swipe to capture. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me go back in here really quick. Let me do a swipe to capture, and it's gonna take a screenshot. At the bottom here, you're gonna see a bunch of options. These options uh, that show up at the bottom become available because you actually enabled the smart capture option. And let me go back out here really quick and you'll see show additional options after capturing a screenshot. With smart capture, you can uh, hide the areas of the screen, draw on the screenshot, crop the screenshot, and share the screenshot. Okay, so as you can see, these things at the bottom will show up after you take a screenshot using any method available. And then you can uh, do some drawing, some cropping, and some sharing of that screenshot. If you did not have this enabled, and if you took a screenshot, it wouldn't give you those little options at the bottom. 
okay it would just take the screenshot and save the screenshot into the gallery but with this option enabled take a screenshot it's going to give you these options from here you can crop okay you can draw basically you can do anything that you want on that screenshot all right so just be aware of these little details that you may miss if you're not looking carefully all right let's continue on with the advanced features all right so let's talk about the game so tap on this guy and enable it if you don't enable this you're not going to see this let me show you immediately what it means uh, there's something you're going to see that's called the game launcher if you tap game launcher it aggregates all your games all the apps that you download that are games into this game launching folder for convenient access now if you disable this that folder uh, disappears so everything is all over the place as far as your games go so as you can see there's no more game launcher but you'll see all these games just sitting haphazardly all over your apps screen so I like to uh, enable this it organizes them in a folder just take a look at that one more time if I disable this and re-enable it it will say that the game launcher added on home screen so when I go to the home screen uh, you'll see the game launcher added somewhere on your home screen uh, in this case it's gonna be all the way in the end over here so let me just grab that put the first screen over here okay so that's gonna be the game launcher you can put that anywhere that you want so launch that all your games are right here you can tap this icon gives you options it shows you my games you can add more apps you can look at the announcements you can go into the settings which takes you back into this um, uh, screen here from here you can disable and, uh, and enable some of these options but that's not that important what's really important is the things you can do while you're actually playing a game so let's go here and let's just launch any game okay so let's launch the, the spare man so with that game mode enable what you can do is when you're playing any game uh, you can swipe from here and you get these options at the bottom here okay and these options all pertain to your gameplay and you can also just to quickly uh, let you know if you swipe up there's this one button here that allows you to lock the screen so you can you know go and do something come back when you're ready to resume your game all you do is just swipe the screen unlocks the screen so you can lock that screen uh, really quick but here's the options that really do matter at the bottom here you see that icon the game launcher icon you tap it and from here you can uh, turn the game into a full screen game if it is actually uh, compatible with that option if it's not compatible it's going to crash I'm not going to try that but you can try it yourself uh, you can enable no alerts during game so if I'm playing a game I'm really into it uh, I don't want to get any messages any phone calls any other notifications I can disable the alerts uh, the other thing is you can hard press home button lock so this home button here as you can see is a pressure sensitive button that can be pressed uh, with this one it's now locked all right so you cannot uh, press this by accident and exit the, uh, the the screen and then you can also uh, lock the edge touch so if you do this right now you can do anything by mistake you know I'm swiping up and down and nothing is happening the notifications will still come up but that's the only one thing that's gonna stay there and uh, you can also go back in here and uh, the other options the really cool options is you can take a screenshot of a game anytime so let's say I'm actually playing this game right let's X that out I'm playing the actual game right now and let's say that I want to take a screenshot I go over here I tap this I tap on screenshot boom it saves it into my gallery I can do the same thing for recording video so if I want to record the gameplay of the actual um, game I simply go like that tap this record and now it's gonna say at the bottom there's a record button okay so it's recording right now let me just go back and if I go like that I can press the stop button and that stops recording and then it saves the uh, recorded gameplay into your photos uh, gallery application all right so that was the game mode you get access to game launcher you get access to in-game tools and with that we come to the end of this video if any questions comments concerns just drop them down below and we'll get to them if we can and of course make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come and give this video a thumbs up and of course if you do use Instagram or Twitter make sure to follow me at Saki Tech online on both Instagram and Twitter. Guys, have a fantastic day.